Om Shanti, welcome back. We are here with 20th of August Golly Blessing. There are two things. Either we have a complete order, not a physical order, but an order of our thoughts, which is pure enough, which is like a Ruhani Gulab, or a rose, which is a spiritual rose, or we have an order which is smelling, a Sadawa Gulab, because that means something which is rotten, a rotten flower. So God says you have a choice of becoming either of them. And what are the benefits? That's what we're going to explore in today's blessing. God says, may you be an image that attracts everyone and who spreads the fragrance of spirituality by becoming a spiritual rose. So there is a physical attraction. People try to attract people through physicality and there is a spiritual attraction. Very few people are practicing this spiritual attraction because in this world, everybody is attracted towards physicality, towards money, towards property, towards post and position. Very few people understand what is spiritual attraction. But we are not here to attract anybody. We should be attractive towards God. That's the only thing which we are practicing in Kumaris. That may I become so attractive that God loves me, even though other people are not attracted to me. So God says, constantly remain aware that you are spiritual roses in God's garden. Now, where is this God's garden? God has a garden in his own mind also, which he's thinking about, he's planning about, and he is planting everybody, every soul as a spiritual rose or some thing or someone who's a, not a spiritual rose but someone who's like a thorn so a thorn cannot enter God's garden that means God doesn't think about a thorn in his mind a spiritual rose is someone who never becomes distant from spirituality just as fragrances merge in flowers you smell a flower you can smell the fragrance it's merged within the flower in the same way, let the fragrance of spirituality be merged in each one of you in such a way that it automatically spreads everywhere. That means we ourselves have that spiritual thinking, spiritual way of looking at things, spiritual way of thinking about other people, spiritual way of looking at situations instead of getting into physical situation. That means throughout the day, we are thinking so much about worldly things, bodily things. That means what to eat, what to wear, what to earn, how to earn where to invest, what to make, what not to make, how to create, how to develop and we forget about spiritual essence of ourselves. We get so involved into the physical world that the spiritual world that we are actually belonging to or who we are actually, we forget about that. And that's why we somewhere, we feel lonely, we feel not sufficient enough, we feel discontent even after having everything around us in terms of wealth and everything. So that's why God says, just as fragrances merge in flowers in the same way, let the fragrance of spirituality be merged in each one of you in such a way that it automatically spreads everywhere and continues to attract everyone to you. You are now becoming such fragrant and attractive images that they create fragrance in temples with incense sticks as a memorial. You go to a temple of a deity, that means Lakshmi Narayan ji, or you go to Shri Krishna ji and Radha ji's temple and you see over there that they, the priest will put on the incense sticks so that it smells good but it is there to please the gods but gods are not pleased by those incense sticks gods already have a pleasing personality that means they have pure thoughts pure thinking they have giving thoughts giving giving uh, actions or habits in which they are always blessing others that's why they are shown like this so they already have an incenseful thinking an incenseful words, incenseful actions in their life. And God says, why don't you become like them? Instead of just praising them and just praying in front of them, why don't you also create your thoughts just like a beautiful incense, which smells good. Thinking about someone with jealousy, hatred, or having any form of negative thoughts about somebody is not like incense. It doesn't smell like a beautiful flower with good fragrance. Our mind also starts stinking. And imagine, can you stay in a place which is stinking a lot? No. What do you do? You move away from that. So sometimes we don't like our own life. We don't like our own thoughts. We don't like to be with ourselves. Why? Because our thoughts have become so impure. And that's the reason for depression. That's the reason for anxiety. That's the reason for stress. Stress means that you're moving away from your own self. Depression means you're moving away from your own real self, your own pure real self. So why not change our thoughts and start thinking good about everybody, no matter what? Because we are here not to attract anybody. We are here to become attractive towards God. Imagine that kind of thinking. That may I make my thoughts so pure, so divine, so that at least God is attracted to me. How about that? And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumari is how to become attractive personality for God. 
and once you become attractive personality for god automatically everybody else will find us attractive isn't that so from shanti with this